Ah, you see the stupid title, man. No wasting time like it in two weeks. the hell video? If you thought that Mr. Beast is the richest YouTuber, he's not. It's this guy. He makes around 28,000 bitcoins per month, which is $2 billion. He's wanted huh? by FBI, FSB, CIA. Almost everyone wants this guy behind bars since he's the head of the Russian cartel. Yet this dude is out there on YouTube telling everyone how to avoid getting caught by the authorities and exploits how Russian government operates. He's like a mentor who teaches you how to basically stay safe in the business like this. Despite this guy is on the other side of the law and his life is basically GTA 6, people love him. He gives money to charity, he invests in scientific researchers, hospitals, and into rehab centers. He constantly buys his fans' cars or just give money to them. Hey, nigga, pull me. Oh, no, 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 I can't. I can't, bro. It's blood money, bro. Hmm, hold on, hold on. But if I say he for me, he give me some of that money he makes from the YouTube. I don't know if, he, if he, he's even making money from the YouTube. I don't know. But if it's blood money, bro, nah, I'm good with that. I'm good with that, bro, dog. It's like Russian Robin Hood, but from dark side of the internet. And basically, this whole YouTube channel is just a huge promo of his shop with funny medicine. Hmm? How is this even allowed? And who is this guy? Вы действующий глава наркомаркетплейса и главный наркодилер страны. Я правильно понимаю? И вы кумир молодежи. Можно просто. Professor Mariarty. Bro, you did not just make a, a fucking edit of this goofball, bro. What? <laughs> Jim Moriarty, a criminal mastermind who was written to finally defeat Sherlock Holmes. This is where our main hero of the story took his inspiration. At first, okay. obviously, he calls himself Moriarty, but most importantly, calling him a mastermind is an underestimation. He did what no black market could ever dream of. He managed to legally create a huge platform on ClearNet, where he's promoting his black business. But how? Before I answer that question, let's look at some other attempts that his competitors did. Some time ago, another shop used to run ads before YouTube videos. They basically say government big bad and we have a solution imagine you click on some british fanboy youtubers video and what you see is some funny medicine ad that definitely shouldn't be there like i don't know that's pretty mental <laughs> it got taken down pretty quickly but it was still enough for some news reporters to write articles about it and give that shop even more exposure next example of another promo from a different shop happened like a month ago another shop put their logo on a van drove it to the center of moscow left it there and blasted their ad full volume <laughs> This feels like a beginning of some epic what the fuck is this? before the whole city turns into complete anarchy. Not gonna lie. Police were notified about this, but they also were warned that the van might be rigged. And it took a long time for pyros to come to deal with it. At the end of the day, it wasn't rigged and it was alright. That van was their untouched blasting music for like five hours. Next day, TikTok was full of these videos. Like, that's insane promo. This is not the first time they pulled an ad like this, though. In 2022, they had a whole billboard with this cool 3D animation. And same year, they even had bus driving around the city. Like, that's kinda wild. All what you have to do is just scan the QR code and you can buy stuff. You have to give it to them. This is marketing on a whole different level. Yeah. It makes sense because this is black market. Like, it's not legal to promote this stuff normally. They can either think of these crazy stunts or buy shoutouts from streamers or YouTubers. But it costs a lot. Shit, can I get like a little, a little dope ad PC for like $10 for me? But the question is, considering I'm not very proficient or uh, knowledgeable about how to surf the black web, yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, yeah, my black ass is not finna go to that website. I'm good. The money, because it's illegal and YouTuber kind of like risks everything. So it makes sense. And even then, viewers huh? might not even realize streamer promoted something. Oh, by the way, guys, when I want to get a little funky schmunky, I buy stuff from here. You should too. So it's not as effective usually. Although Moriarty was pretty clever about it. He paid Nekoglai, that's the guy that we talked about in this video, to wear a t-shirt with his shop on a stream. It was a huge promo. Everyone talked about it. It was all over TikTok, all over articles. And Echo like got cancelled, but he didn't care because he got like a lot of money. And now wait. He got cancelled, so does that really good? Like, okay, can't def he should have defined what the what the hell he means cancelled. Like, uh, how do I put this? YouTube, but he got banned on YouTube or social media platforms. If not, 
then and they cancel culture or whatever is useless now when you understand how hard it is to promote this stuff look at this guy over here three million subs like how well he never says hey guys buy stuff from here no he's basically a youtuber he does videos like how to be successful how to change your mindset where the biggest cartel lords live so like educational kind of self-improvement stuff you know hmm. he doesn't sell any curses afterwards but every time when he watches videos you're subconsciously thinking of his shop he's showing you a lifestyle of a gta character this dude drives Rolls Royce Phantom, flies helicopters. He's dope. But what you don't realize that it's just a big ad for his stuff. It's same what Andrew Tate did, basically. Or do you remember that Got Milk ad? They never told you, hey, buy milk. They showed you something that subconsciously made you think of milk, and that milk mustache was just unforgettable. In Belarus, we had an ad about water Bulvashskaya, but when he come to the store, there was no water bottle. Instead, there was a bottle of vodka called Bulvashskaya. You couldn't really promote alcohol on TV, so this was great bypass of the law. Same thing hmm. with did. He bypassed YouTube law so nobody can do anything about it. And believe it or not, people love him. And he actually has stands. Then you can find videos where people send him mails, where they basically say their life struggles, how his money would help them, and what exactly would he spend it on. Like, hello Moriarty, I wanna get my grandma from death. It would help a lot. And guys like, sure, here you go. And he spends like millions of dollars. Oh, bro, no, nah, nah, bro, I'm good, bro. I don't, I don't want to feel me involve myself in this guy. What the hell you got going on? The only thing I can't even watch this video because they're in Russian. What the hell is this message? The hell is this, bro? Send me messages about money, man. Stop sending me random ass messages about random ass things. What's this? Come on, man. Ah. Or just on these videos where he helps people. That's wholesome, right? He doesn't seem like some bad cartel lord who runs black market. Okay, but look at this content that attracts the most people. He explains how the whole business works, how to not get caught. He tells you different stories of what happened to his friends and business partners. He's giving people priceless information and content that you cannot find anywhere else. Unless you really want to try this hustle yourself, but I wouldn't recommend it. Bruh, the problem is that it's not in English, bro. That's the problem. So after close examination, of Moriarty's videos, I, for example, learned that the government can track your location by your cell phone, and it doesn't matter if you do or don't have your SIM card. In. They track the phone serial number chip that is inserted in every single. Eh. A lot of us have been new that is like. Yeah. The Therefore, Moriarty gang use their own programmed phones that self-destruct after you put in wrong password. Same with their computer. And then he goes on for like 10 minutes telling you about some different fun facts about CCTV cameras, airport cameras, yada yada. I think that Moriarty might be Aiden Pierce from Watch Dogs. He then also said that if you think that someone might search your house when you go to sleep, you should put like a coin on a door handle. You know, so when you wake up and you find that coin on the floor, someone was at your house. Yeah. Overall, there's a lot of tips and tricks how to become global elite in criminal activities and if you click on at least one of these videos you notice that they look like a movie the production here is on whole <laughs> different level and if you're still having doubts how can people that good boy trying to hook us man role model, it's actually because he's the greatest manipulator only moriarty can criticize one shop for selling a specific product and then sell the same product on his own shop and defend it by saying forbidden fruit is the sweetest so now i will tell you how moriarty basically tricked everyone despite his running the most illegal business in the world he says he should never take or buy funny medicine why would he even say that isn't that his whole business model people buy stuff from you and you tell them no don't buy it please it's bad well yeah but let me tell you that no one on god's earth thinks that this i think it's refer rever jeez they call it reverse, reverse, reverse psychology. Stuff is good. Everyone understands that this stuff is bad and they shouldn't do it. Yet they're still doing it. Different reasons as I just want to try. My friends do it, so I'll do it as well. Or people get addicted and they just cannot stop. Nah, if you got to do, if you see your friends doing some stupid shit and you know it's stupid and you say, you know what? Since they do it, I want to do it too. You's a fuck nigga. Not anymore. So well, and while Moriarty says it's bad and people shouldn't do it, he also points out that this business won't go anywhere. It's already way too advanced and people are already too hooked, so no government nor anyone in the world can fight it. Well, and when he cannot fight them, join them. Moriarty did so, and his whole narrative is to make it as clean as possible. So products are safe to use without any cheap add-ons to lower the production cost. Additionally to that, he has lawyer bot on his Telegram who helps you with the basic law questions if you run the problems or help 
helps you with finding a good lawyer to get you out of trouble. And also a health bot, who tells you what to do if you're experiencing a bad trip or if your friend is having a seizure, for example. He also makes sure everything is fair and he treats his employees with respect. <laughs> what the fuck is this stupid video, bro? decides to steal a package that was intended for a customer, other shop organizations would catch him and cut four of his fingers. However, Moriarty cuts only two, as it's more ethical. Now let's look at Moriarty as a person. When you think of villains, they are usually written as not likable, crazy, very evil. Mm. Oh, 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 he said they are written, but actually, can we say we are like we we need we need uh, help? How do I put this? Can we say that like some of us are like effed up, like or le le the people like I don't know? How do I put this? This English bro is not me sure. There are certain evil characters that we like. So because we like evil characters or we like, uh, yeah, those evil characters, even though they do evil shit, is there something wrong with us because we like those? Because it's, it's, it's a bad thing and we know it's a bad thing. We will not do it, but we like it when this goofball does it. I don't know how to put this, bro. Should we be sent? Should we be like studied or something? I don't know. Etc. To make you hate that guy from the start of the story. However, what if you make him charismatic and way cooler than the protagonist? Well, Moriarty doesn't drink, doesn't smoke. He buys vegetables and fruits only from bio section. He's very good chef. He's buff, educated as hell. Like he got three degrees. Overall, mm. very charismatic, rich powerful as hell and he always tells people that those who get into black market business do it almost always for the money yet other fields like it medical field engineering bring way bigger revenue and it's legal as well so now if moriarty was a villain in a video game you definitely should question yourself who is the real hero in the story while in traditional computer game you're fighting against one villain or organization of them those are usually against the whole system or society well that's exactly what moriarty is doing the final pillar of rebranding moriarty into good guy is him pointing out to the holes and problems in the government system in psychology there's a term called moral justification it's a process where you're convincing others that your actions are right even though they might seem questionable on the surface this can involve highlighting a greater enemy and it's called to fight it together for the greater enemy moriarty chose mezulivna which is like a ceo of safety on the russian internet nobody really likes her because she's banning people left and right without bigger justification moriarty what? thinks everything should be transparent instead Instead of banning, we should educate people to not fall for internet traps. However, after Mazulivna, Moriarty chose bigger fish in the sea and called out government as a whole. He says it's... Yo, bro. Yo, bro, this nigga trying to... Wait, he's still alive, so I don't know if he's still alive to you, but hey, man. What's the point of doing that? Oh, he's trying... Oh, he said he's trying to educate people. It's like, damn, nigga. Just make your money on you. Just make your money in peace, man. It's corrupted to oblivion, and they put everything that is somehow connected to funny medicine to gulag for at least 10 years. But alcohol, on the other hand, is in Moriarty's eyes way worse than other funny medicine he sells. And he points out that the government capitalizes on it big time. Well, it's up to you to decide if grass and other stuff is better or worse than alcohol. Basically, in a lot of people's mm. eyes, he's a real hero. And the funniest thing is that Moriarty might not actually exist. Like, yeah, sure, there might be some real guy who is actually a real cartel lord behind this whole show however i don't really think that person who runs a busy business like this has time to have a youtube channel but who am i to say that i'm just little green funny frog in a suit Maybe hey man we live in a world where like certain things people be saying some things are not possible they did not then they end up being possible it's like bro come on man come on man how do i put this oh man i don't know if i can say this because i don't want the fbi to kick down on my door feel me you talk too much the fuck up this and that for me how do i put this allegedly everybody knows the government is fucking us over bro whether you're working or not bro you're being affected because of their decisions somewhere somehow that's it, it was. allegedly bro he got everything he ever wanted in his life and now he's just poor however he built an insane following people are so loyal that when mezulevna banned him on russian youtube they downloaded vpn and watched him anyway the community is so strong that when someone tries to expose moriarty everyone in the comments is on moriarty's side community so strong that they started making shorts with this guy and before mastery was a thing on tiktok i had this guy live rent free on my for you page for like a month it was either motivational stuff or just memes as people were making 
making fun of his modified voice, which sounds dope as hell. Hello, Biden. So imagine what happens if you hear a Far Cry villain sing Chippy Chippy Choppa Choppa. Chippy Chippy Choppa Choppa. And overall, we got so many good memes with this guy. Всем привет, с вами профессор Мартия. Мартиет. Похуй. Да, да, да. Я решил попробовать свой же продукт, свою же сперму. These are memes. What the fuck is this trash? Discord and Patreon down below. Bye bye. The hell was that trash? What the? Those are those are memes. The 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 our humor is fucked up, bro. Call me Mr. Zen, cause I'm a flippy bass.